This is another video in the series of biking in Malaysia, Penang, Malaysia. Here I am heading toward a particularly dangerous intersection or stretch of road where it gets very narrow and there's lots of traffic with motorbikes and trucks, people. I'm biking with one hand holding the camera with the other so it makes it especially difficult. And here a cement mixing truck pulls out right at the most narrow point. So I've got this drainage ditch on the left and a cement truck on the right. Now if I had both hands free I might grab onto that truck and get a free ride. Luckily I never fell into these ditches. Lots of shops, places to uh, buy various things and get food. Coming over a bridge here. My bank is on the left. Lots of traffic here, cars coming in and out. Big ditch there, you can see deep water, big drop. It's all open. Always these open drainage ditches. Here in the US we have uh, underground piping. And beyond this intersection, it gets, it clears up and it's not so, not so dangerous. Now I'm going to run through this, this section twice, just because it's so dangerous. Here we are coming up, this school bus, actually it's a public bus, is coming for a stop. People getting on and off. And this guy knows to look before he steps out. And motorbikes can come flying by and nail you. Again, I'm using one hand with the camera, one hand with the handlebars, so it's kind of hard. Again, I can get a free ride by grabbing onto that bus. They always keep the doors open, so there's plenty to grab onto. It's always good to move at the same speed as everybody else. That's the safest condition. Still have to watch out for people crossing the road, vehicles pulling out in front of you. People never do what's predictable, so you have to expect the unpredictable. And remain a safe distance behind motorbikes. Coming up, I'll show you what happens when you don't maintain a safe distance and they suddenly hit the brakes. This kid traveling too close and the guy is slowing down he almost hits that motorbike and that girl crosses the street without even looking and I nearly hit her and her brother yells at her for not looking. Luckily I had good brakes. Now this is the city of Tulukumbar where I lived for two years. And these are some small shops uh, where you can eat, and uh, there's a pharmacy. So actually that blue pharmacy is a modern pharmacy, and across the street is a Chinese pharmacy. And I'm going to stop here because I know there's a bus coming, and I want to let it by. People like to park right here next to this fruit market, and they don't leave much room to get by. A lot of motorbikes just park here, just to make it really, really tight. Now on the road it said awas, which means danger. That's a uh, motorbike repair shop. Passing a bus stop on the right. Now these blue buses on the left are for the factory workers. And coming up on the right is a gas station they were building for two years and never finished.